Bye. Hey everybody, it's Craig again from uh, Heavy Gear Guy on YouTube. And we're going to do a special battle report for you today. This is going to be for an upcoming campaign release. Uh, a historical battle report as it is. Uh, it's going to be me and Colin. There's Colin. And what it is, come around here. This is going to be using the new uh, CEF heavy hover tank model, the HHT-90. A very nice full resin kit from DreamPod 9 the largest kit they make out there and it's very well detailed just bristling with weapons and weapon ports uh, this, the setup is that uh, an HHT-90 um, heavy hover tank and its escorts have been intercepted by a Port Arthur crew kill team uh, the, the entire purpose of the Port Arthur crew is to stop the HHT from redeploying uh, these are both 1500 point forces and we've each got three combat groups uh, the uh, Earth Force uses the HHC-90 of course which it takes up about half of its points if not a little bit more uh, and uh, interdiction frame squad and a heavy frame squad whereas Port Arthur Corps is bringing three regular hover tanks uh, in front of them are three hover APCs and in front of them are four light hover tanks uh, so it's gonna be the battle of the hover crews today uh, we're gonna be playing on this desert butte field kind of a rocky valley high maneuver high cover too uh, field so it should be pretty interesting and we're going to get set up and get this going. So here's our setup for our 1500 point forces. Uh, we're playing on a 4x6 board lengthwise with 24 inch deployment zones. Uh, the missions are the CEF must escape with the heavy hover tank through the back edge of Port Arthur Corps zone there. Then they must wipe out uh, the hover APCs for some reason they were told that was important and assassinate the army commanding hover tank um, I think we can do that Port Arthur Corps on the other hand has the missions to wipe out the heavy, heavy hover tank and assassinate its turret and then they must also wipe out the interdiction frames and assassinate the heavy frame combat group leader so it looks uh, pretty brutal here. We're going to just be gunning each other and uh, we're going to see uh, who can reign supreme here. So uh, we're going to get this going. We'll see you on the other side of turn one. Alright, so then we're. What's going on here now is Colin is firing anti tank missiles at the turret. He's already smacked it several times. It is on its last box and he's just got to throw one more set to place the last missile. And that one over there is a six, right? Yeah. Yeah. So six. Uh, okay. So with static defense, static defense of three on the heavy hover tank, Colin end up with a placement roll of a six. Uh, that that's going to do it. Um, let's go back a little bit and show what happened. Uh, the pack one initiative, and as CEF moved up. The hover tanks went on standby for coordinates with their anti-tank missiles. And then in the last bit of maneuvering, a brave little um, light hover tank zoomed forward and spotted the heavy hover tank way out in the open. Uh, a barrage of anti-tank missiles followed from standby for coordinates and CP firing. Uh, and the turret just, just ate every one tried out uh, counter battery fire um, when your targets are fully obscured and you're moving at top speed not much comes from that so the county battery sensor was scary I thought that was going to be really big but nothing much came of that so with that final anti-tank missile the turret is dead we'll just take that off to show that it's dead 
So, uh, pack has achieved a victory point, and we're moving on. Okay, so here we are at the end of turn one. We saw the uh, death of the turret on the heavy hover tank. Um, that still surprised me a little bit. <laughs> this is actually our second game playing this, and it's pretty much paying out to be exactly what happened last time. The Heavy Hover Tank, while impressive, is highly vulnerable. Uh, pretty much the only big thing that happened over here was a light hover tank was able to designate um, an interdiction frame and some heavy rocket pods from uh, hover APCs rained down from the sky and took him out as well so he got over killed and we're moving on alright so here we see our defense roll 3-3-3 three, 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 even on the re-roll uh, with from above an unable to see attacker just never saw it coming heavy frame down heavy rocket packs hover APCs Okay, here we are at the end of turn two. Um, got a little busy. Uh, didn't get as much on film as I would have liked to. Uh, what we definitely didn't do was the, the airstrikes that came in. We had a bomber uh, on pack side, which helped go towards the, you can barely see it in there, but the hull is now uh, at critical between the bomber's anti-tank missiles, the hover tank's anti-tank missiles. Uh, it's not looking pretty over there. Uh, Pack, or I'm sorry, CEF had a fighter bomber. They managed to overkill a hover APC. Got that out of the way. And they did some damage to a light hover tank. <clears throat> However, the hover APC and the light hover tank did do um, their bit as well. Uh, heavy rocket pods overkilled a heavy frame. And then more heavy rocket pods from uh, the partner hover APC was able to, uh, looks red, but it's actually orange. That's heavy damage on both of those guys. Uh, and that was about, there was a little bit of reaction fire. Uh, the, the hull of the HHD did put a little bit of damage on light hover tank that sped forward. Um, it, the heavy hover tank is just going down. It, it's not going to last much longer to turn three. Um, but here we go. Alright, here we go. What well, is probably going to be the last shot into that heavy hover tank from this hover tank over here. Go for it. That's a 5 with all the modifiers. Takes it up to a 7. Uh, static defense on the heavy hover tank. Only a 3. It is dead. Not overkilled, just dead. Alright, over here this interdictor is taking some medium rockets to its back uh, with a 6 is 6. That makes it a 7. Uh, base roll. We're going to throw our defense. And we got one, three, and three. a three. He's out of there too. Alright, here it is into turn three. Uh, we saw the heavy hover tank take its final kill shot from the hover tank. Uh, There's a lot of action. Some people got damaged. Over here, a little swarm of light hover tanks was able to Kill heavy frame squad member. He got he was just regular killed. Um, interdictor frame got overkilled by heavy rocket packs from the hover APC, who was in turn killed by the interdictor frame there, who was in turn circled behind and killed by the light hover tank, who had already taken some damage himself. It was a vicious circle and a lot of a lot of death. Um, back over here, the command. Uh, the combat group leader, excuse me, of the two frame squads are still hiding. Uh, that is all, except for the combat group leader, that's the entire interdict frame squad dead. So that's a victory point to pack. We've killed the second of three heavy, or hover APCs, so that's a victory point to Earth. But with the heavy hover tank failing its escape, not getting its three points, and giving all three of its points to pack, pack has got a four point. Victor Point lead, which will not be broken. Um, it's been kind of a brutal game, so we're going to go ahead and call it here at turn three. Uh, yeah. Looks good. And we're going to see you guys next time. Good game. Good game. 
All right, I'm Craig. That's Colin. That's Heavy Gear. We will see you next time.